So, I'm going to be talking today about Winter Kingdom. Kingdom Builder, which is basically, this is a sequel to Kingdom Builder. Kingdom Builder um, is one of my favorite games of all time. I love Kingdom Builder. I love its simplicity. I love how easy it is to teach while still having its thoughtful moments. So it was kind of funny. Um, when I was, you know, told about Winter Kingdom, I, I signed up and everything. And then people are saying, well, they kind of wrecked Kingdom Builder. So I was going to cancel my order. And they said, no, you can't cancel because it's on the way. So I said, okay, fine. You know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Well, it turns out that, um, my game partner and I really love this game. It's really a lot of fun. What they basically did was take like the little special spaces on the Kingdom Builder board and they brought them in as cards. So, you know, they're still the, the same <laughs> hexes that uh, they had in the previous game, but there's also um, a little more markings that they can use to interact with the rest of the game. And as you can see, the colors are much brighter than the colors were in Kingdom Builder. Um, the other thing is, yes, they have the same scoring cards, and yes, you still only use three. However, uh, oh, and the terrain cards, there's new terrains such as snow, and what we used to think of as rivers is now called ice. Um, but, and because of that, there's new ter terrain cards as well. As you can see, this is a, a snow card. Um, They've also added abilities. So, like, you know, like I said, I think in, in Kingdom Builder, there was, in fact, a sawmill, you know, where you could um, just put your, your house on a forest. But now these uh, abilities cost coins to place. Also, as you can see, there's a ton of them. You know, way more than there was in any given single um, king, kingdom builder setup, even if you use the expansions. So in order to pay for these cards, there's now ways of getting coins in the game. So as I was showing you, uh, these are called villages. So... If, if these cards come up randomly for the, the coins, and for example, this one is agriculture. One coin for each of your house build, built adjacent to a village. And, you know, sometimes that's good, and sometimes, given the scoring cards, it's terrible. Um, just like it was in the uh, original game. Um and there's also cards that they've added to, to give more challenge to the game, like this one. Um, hexes adjacent to other players' houses count, count as occupied and can't be moved, built on or moved through um, those hexes, which makes it a little bit of a, you know, more of an interactive, perhaps, conflict. It really, though, again, depends on the uh, scoring as, you know, to see how much that's actually going to matter. Like this particular scoring, royalty. Three BP for each village awarded to the player who has the most houses built adjacent to the village. Well, if you also had agriculture, which gives, gives you coins for for building adjacent to the, the builder, and you weren't able to build next to anybody adjacent to the, the builder, the game could get kind of challenging. And, you know, for me, I think this is a good thing. I mean, I'll probably still uh, play Kingdom Builder, especially for people just coming in to the hobby. But this Winter Kingdom, I would say, has a way more Euro feel and a way less abstract feel. The The biggest um, issue that we've had is that just like in Kingdom Builder, the abilities that let you move a, um, a house like this one 
are way, way valuable. And if a player has no way to move anything and everybody else does, they are definitely at a disadvantage. Because of that, at least in the two-player, I don't know, we haven't played it with more than, than three, we're definitely going to be drafting these cards instead of just leave it, leaving it to randomness. But, you know, that was like I, uh, that was a fault of the, the original game as well, especially the, 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 uh, sailing ships. They were, um, way overpowered. So, um, I just, you know, wanted to share with you my thoughts about the game. I highly recommend it if you're looking for, you know, a little something different and the midway Euros style games. Um, unfortunately, it is only sold at, uh, MSRP. So it's not sold to Cool Stuff or Card House or Miniature Market. So if you want it, you're going to pay the, you're all, you're either going to pay the $60, um, MSRP price or perhaps you can wait for it to show up on the secondary market. Um, I'm not sure if it's in stores. It's on Amazon, and that's the easiest way to um, get it. So, I don't know. I can just tell you that we've enjoyed it very much. It is definitely a step up from Kingdom Builder, but I think, you know, we were ready for that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this short little video. And have an awesome day.